you know, over the course of a year, we use soft plastics for just about every different species of fish, from largemouth, smallmouth, walleyes, northern pike, panfish, bluegills, you name it, soft plastics are a big part of it. And we, over the last number of years, we've been using big bite baits and may make a really fabulous uh, number of different baits that work for all different species. But what I want to share with you right now is three key techniques that I use for smallmouth bass all over North America. First up, is uh, this bait right here and this is a four inch uh, swimming jerk minnow. This is one of my favorite finesse swim baits. It's the four inch swimming jerk minnow. I have it set out on a quarter ounce, uh, just a small jig head. I use it from a, as light as an eighth ounce for real shallow water conditions to as heavy as maybe a three eighths ounce for 25 to 30 foot of water. But this thing really catches fish. I have it rigged on a uh, eight and a half foot long rod, something that you can cast a long distance 10 pound braid, four foot of uh, fluorocarbon leader. You cast it out and reel it in. I mean, this thing is one small mouth catching machine. It will put this one away and we're up to the, my next bait, the tube. Big Bite makes a wide variety of different tubes from a two and a half, a three and a half, a four, and a six. But this two and a half is really special for smallmouth bass. You'll notice that I have it interior weighted, but what I do with this bait, I use a couple of different techniques and it's called snagging and dragging. And I, I do cast it out and reel it in in some conditions. And, but the thing is, a lot of times with the, the retrieve you use is a bottom dragging retrieve. You're not hopping it a lot. You cast it out and either uh, drag the bait a long distance away from the boat or to reel it in really slow, just skipping it on the bottom. But that small profile is just unbelievable for catching brown bass, particularly when the fish are inactive. That's when this bait really, really shines. But this two and a half is a really underlooked uh, bait for a lot of smallmouth bass fishermen. And I can guarantee you it is a real producer, particularly in those tougher conditions. Uh, next up to bat, no question about it, is the classic drop shot rod. You know, anywhere from shallow to deep, it's really strength is, is moderate depth, anywhere from 10 to as deep as 25, 30 foot of water. Uh, one of my really key, ba key baits is uh, the uh, Big Bite 3.75 jointed jerk minnow. The jointed jerk minnow is made in, uh, I think they have 12 different colors, but the thing is, this thing is extraordinarily supple. It's got this joint in it, and you don't have to put very much motion to give this thing life. It's really the right size for catching smallmouth bass, no question about it. And a lot of times we'll fish for smallmouth bass all over North America, from Mid-South Reservoirs to Canadian Lakes to the Great Lakes. In all three of these techniques and baits are tied on my rod for one simple reason they catch fish wherever you go. It's just amazing. You know, Big Bite makes a, a wide variety of different baits, but I know one thing when I'm fishing for smallmouth bass, those are the baits I have tied on my deck.